Nose beekeeper. Alright, we're gonna jump the Papa's truck. You gotta put it right in the front of the house. Come here. Right here, give him a little smoke. Put it right in there. Put it right here. Give him a little. You can do it underneath too. Okay? Then we open the top. Give him a little in the top. That's all we gotta do. We can put some over here too. Look, we're getting the other hive too, May. Put some over here. Come here. Swoop some underneath there. There you go. Squirt it. Alright, let's put some in the cup. It's Mason's first time out here with a hive. He we got his suit a couple days ago or a week ago. Welcome back to Red Farms, guys. I know we're already mid-video. We're bringing Mason out here for the first time to check out the bees. We just caught a swarm in one of our hives behind the house. Kinfolk Farms is going to have the video. I'll add the card up top, and I'll leave a link to it down below and at the end of the video. So I'll remind you all about that. But we're checking them. We've already calmed them down. Well, when is it the queen? Well, we'll see if we can find the queen, Mason. She's hard to find. And... If that swarm was ours, she came out of here, so there won't be another queen. We're hoping it's not, but... Way too much bees! Yeah, there is a lot of bees. Find in the queen? Yeah, we'll see if uh, we can. I can touch it. Touch what? The hive? And the um, bees. Yeah. I always love them gentle. Them yeah, you need to be gentle with them. You see what's in there, May? Honey. Yeah, there's honey. They're working on honey still. Well, why not? Well, why not? Why not can fly? Because bees have to fly. Why are you it right there? Because we need to have space so we don't uh, accidentally hurt the bees, and so we pull one frame out, bud. We found the queen. No, not yet. Because it's just what it does. Whoa! No, don't Because it so just, it's all honey. All right, Mason, you see these right here? Yes. That's where they make baby queens from. One girl off my head. Uh, uh, I see, a, I see babies. Yeah. Right there. Like, and, and right there. Yeah. Go smoke that far. Go get that other hive over there. The big one. Come here. Smoke them right in that hole. Get some smoke in there. Fluff it. Good job, buddy. Here, here, you gonna go put it back? Ah. We do nine deep on these, on the mediums. Makes it to where the comb's drawn out wider so we can cut it easier. And it makes it easier not to roll them. But on the deeps we do um, ten, so yeah, we ain't doing nothing on this medium yet. One deep. Why you only one deep? There's just two. Oh look, you can may look that right there. See on the back of that bee's legs? It's pollen. Let me flip her back over. Oh, I want you to use this tool. The tool makes it easier. Here you go. Did you get him? You got him. Show Papa. Turn. 
puppy flew away. All right. All that brood. But there's one with pollen on its legs too. Action. All right. So if you look really close, these open one right there, you see that little white drop in there? That's a baby. And when they're getting close to hatching out, they close them off. And they keep some honey near so that they can feed them and stuff. But look, that one's got pollen on there. And that's going to be a bunch of bees right there. Is that exciting? Well, why are there bees in there? Why are there baby bees in there? Yeah. Make more. All right. Can we get them a baby cell? Well, no, they put them in there, and then they hatch them out. They just hatch out. Kind of like the baby chicks do on their own. That size cover. Holy cow. No, this is a different frame. What? It just is. That's the machine to make it? No, well... The bees make all that honey, and they or the wax. They draw that all out. They make it. A machine made the the box. Well, we assembled the box. All right, so we're just getting rid of these extra mock super seizure cells. We think this is well. We're yeah. This is a hive that we found two queens in there last week. Hold on, man. And there's you can only have one queen in the hive, and so they were. All the other worker bees were choking out the other one. They were, they created a cluster around her, and they were overheating her, and uh, they were trying to kill her. So that was pretty neat. And we found you know a bunch of brood and all that, so it's worked out. And so we're curious if those might just be from the previous when they were trying to get rid of the old queen. Maybe I don't know. So. They fall down. Don't worry, the other bees will get rid of them. And it was a stinking cockroach. That's where all of them are working. Just one of the workers, it happened. Out there working in that turnip pasture. Because they're all coming, well, they're all mostly coming in from that direction. What are you filming? What are you doing? Bye, you're watching. Bye. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, I'm going to leave the video to Kinfolk Farm Swarm. I'll leave it on the screen and I'm down below, and there'll be a card previous. Um, we're going to be dropping that swarm over to my other house. And uh, definitely get your kids out there beekeeping. I'll tell you, it's been actually probably one of the best times besides when I first started beekeeping has been since now we got him out here. So if you got little ones, get them a suit. Get them in there. It's been fun watching him trying to learn and trying to ask questions and just seeing things from a four-year-old's perspective. So it's been awesome having him in this hive with us or the hives with us. So, and oh yeah, check out our social media down below. See you guys on the next video. You want to say anything, Mace? Oh, I love you. <laughs> That's awesome.